Hey, what's up guys? It's Motivation by Moses. I'm back with another video. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to grip the pull-up bar properly and how to grip the dip bar and the push-up bar properly to prevent injuries. As we know in calisthenics, the biggest problem is injuries, such as shoulder injuries and elbow injuries. So today, I'm gonna to show you the proper way to grab the bar so you can maintain structural integrity, all right? So the first uh, example I'm gonna show you is with the pull-up bar, right? So when we get to that pull-up bar, what we wanna do, what you see most people do, is they grab the bar like so. I'm gonna demonstrate real quick. They grab the bar like this, right? When you grab the bar like that, what you're doing is you're gonna disengage your forearm muscles, all right? And it's gonna, in turn, put a lot of pressure on the tendon, on your tendon leading to your elbow, which is gonna lead to inflammation, and that's how you're gonna get the tennis elbow. And when you grab the bar also like this, it destabilizes your shoulder, so you don't have that shoulder integrity, all right? So this is what I want you guys to do. I want you guys to use a hook grip when you grab the bar. Put your hands like so, and then you put your thumb over. Once you do that, it automatically activate the forearm muscle groups, and you get now you have protection through the shoulder. I mean, through the elbows. And then when you're in that position, what it does is externally rotate your shoulders so that your shoulders are nice and protected. So I'm going to demonstrate, and I'll do one pull up. All right, in that position. So I'm going to go up over and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my thumb over just like so nice and tight all right so you want to go over that bar and then make sure your thumb is hooked over your index and your middle finger so I'm gonna demonstrate one more time Up, hook it just like so all right now we're gonna walk over to the dip bar all right so now the biggest problem when doing dips is this watch my wrist okay when people go up on that dip bar the biggest problem is they bend their wrist and grab the bar just like so, right? Can you come close? Let them see. See how my wrist is bent, right? So what happens is when you grab the dip bar and you bend in your wrist, right? What happens is when you do your dips, it puts a lot of strain on the tendons, right? Connected to your elbow, all right? That's how you get that tennis elbow, all right? So you don't want to bend your wrist and put all the weight on your wrist. What you want to do is you want to keep it straight and put the load, your, your weight, on the bone, on your forearm bone. So I'm going to demonstrate almost like you're punching somebody. So now watch the difference. Once I go like this, look at that. Now my forearm is engaged. Instead of dis disengaged, now I'm engaged. So I'm going to go up. And watch the difference. So now here, all right, let's walk over to the push-up bar. Now with the push-up bar, it's the same problem, all right? We want to protect our shoulders. We want to protect our elbows. The biggest problem, all right, structural instability, because most people, when they grab the push-up bar, once again, what do they do? They bend their wrist. They do this, all right? So that's a cause for injury. It's gonna lead to your wrist in a bad position, and then you're gonna get over usage of your forearm muscles, leading to inflammation of that tendon, leading to that tennis elbow. So what do you want to do? You want to grab the bar and load it, all right? So you putting the load through your forearm muscle. So watch, bad technique, good technique. Bad technique, loading through the wrist, good technique. 
you want to grab that bar. It wants to be nice and solid. All right? Good technique, bad technique. So remember, guys, when you're doing your pull-ups, your dips, your push-up, you always want to maintain structural integrity so you protect your joints, all right, and you have less injuries. So until next time, Motivation by Moses, peace and